If you love a peanut butter and banana sandwich, wait till you try today's recipe for uh, this. It's an Elvis type biscuit here, but the official name is, all right, get this, Honka Honka Bacon Love yes. Biscuit. Yeah, that's yes, I love your introduction. <laughs> all right. Uh, Chef Brendan Frome <laughs> from Holler and Dash is back in our kitchen today. And uh, y'all are known for the biscuits here, and you've got a Tennessee twist on this one. We do. So uh, so this is the Honka Honka Bacon Love. Mm -hmm. uh, this is something that we dreamed up uh, last year, and we introduced it to uh, some guests here in Nashville. And uh, it's a fun play on the classic bacon, or sorry, the classic Elvis sandwich. So it's got the peanut butter, the ba bacon, uh, and bananas. But we put our own little twist. And what's unique about this is we're kind of launching this in our 8th Avenue location that's going to be opening up in Nashville in September. Oh, super. So this will be on the menu. This is the first time we've added a biscuit, so we're crazy excited about it. Good. All right, so go ahead and show me what's on this one. So uh, the fun thing about our biscuits is that uh, we have all these cool, fun little toppings. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, this is our house biscuit, and what we have here is a peanut butter mousse. So uh, it's, a peanut butter it's mousse, crazy delicious. <laughs> it's it's kind of like a Twix bar uh -huh. in a way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's so nice and creamy and sweet. Uh huh. Uh, and we use a local uh, nut butter from Nut Butter Nation in okay. that, so it's very delicious. So you got your peanut butter mousse. Um, we top that with some bananas. So again, going for that classic variation. Um, we're gonna hit that with some bananas right on there. Mm -hmm. And this is like, this is the perfect brunch dish. Okay. Uh, ready for interesting ingredients now? Yes. Sugar bacon, do you like <laughs> sugar bacon? So this is like All a right, cayenne. Have to grab one of these pieces of bacon there. Now where is this bacon from? Is this, uh, this is an artisan bacon that we use in the restaurant. So uh, this is a spicy uh, brown sugar sugar bacon. And Ooh. it's spicy, it's sweet, yes. it's crazy smoky. Uh, and it just adds a, a layer of complexity of okay. flavor to All right. <laughs> Now, popcorn. <laughs> You're adding popcorn to this biscuit. All right, so going back to, we always have an unexpected twist on everything that we do uh, in the restaurant. And so popcorn gives a really cool like texture to this dish. So it gives a nice nuttiness to it, uh, good texture. Popcorn is fun. And yes. Then, then we're gonna go maple drizzle all <laughs> over that beautiful biscuit. Oh. Look at that. Brunch domination. And so you put this out there and people went crazy. They went mm -hmm. crazy over it. And so that's where we got the idea. We're like, let's put this in, in 8th Avenue. And we're so excited to be coming to the community uh, in September. So uh, guests can check us out on social media if they okay. want to find more information out about it or come visit our Brentwood location here in Nashville. All right, super. And also before you go, let me uh, let you talk about these other ones real quick. Yeah, so a uh, wide array of biscuits that we do in the restaurant. So we've got... Uh, a garden goat, which is a vegetarian. So it's fried goat cheese and house made tomato jam. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you got a little bit of kale tossed on that. And then we've got our kickback chicken, uh, antibiotic free fried chicken with goat cheese and local pepper jelly from the Nashville Jam Company. And then this is, uh, this is beautiful right here. This is our pork rambler with blackberry <laughs> butter, uh, fried pork oh, tenderloin, and some onion good straws. Stuff there. You got to check out the biscuits there. Awesome stuff here. All right, this recipe is on our website. If you'd like to, uh, to make it, it will be featured on the menu at the new Holler and Dash opening in Nashville later this year. Check out the other biscuits at the Brentwood location.